Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome to Dungeon Chop Chop. Now, this is a roguelike game, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of roguelike games and strategy RPGs. And it's been like really slacking on both of those genres lately, especially in indie games. I've just been looking for something around that area, but can't really find much. And so I found this on Game Jolt. As always, the link in the description if you guys want to try out the game yourselves. So from what I see from like the screenshots, the game is kind of like um, a 3D version of Castle Crashers. Pretty sure it's Castle Crasher, not Castle Crusher. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's like a 3D version of Castle Crash. That's what it looks like, at least. You can play with a controller. Should I play with my controller? Hold on. How well would that go? X is attack. Y is for map. Okay. Triggers don't really do anything. got no gold so I can't really get any of this. So where's the dungeon? Is there a way out of here? Oh, this guy has a quest. Have you come to save us? Take this gold. Go buy supplies and head it. Okay. No worries. I'll go to that dungeon. As soon as I buy a new sword. Or a shield. Hmm. That's on weight. Your nipples are pierced. What man would do that to his nipples? That's an issue. I'm mostly looking at the resist right now. Okay, let's take the resist. We're not even going to talk about that. We're going to ignore it and pretend like it didn't happen. Oh, that, is that a chest? No, it must be like a, a secret. Ooh. Yeah, there must be like a secret or something. Oh, yep. There is. This way. Go this way, that's right, go this way, I'm going this way now, now. Oh, go this you way. want that chest too? I want it as well. I'm guessing there's a skill for that. Magnet. Double goad. So, Oh, okay. My bad. Can I not go in the dungeon yet? The hell? All right, so there's another chest here. So I'm guessing there's another secret we have to do. Oh god, there's more chests. What's going on there? All right, guys, we'll be right back until we figure out what's going on here. All right, so we opened one of these chests over here. I'm definitely taking it. Um, I don't know how I got in here. I just squeezed through. Guys, this is an issue. <laughs> um, I don't know how I got in here. I just squeezed through. Um, I may have to restart the game. That was weird-ish. I don't understand what just happened there. Alright, so I restarted the game. Uh, hold on. You just need two health orbs or something? Huh. Yes, that was a waste of uh, cash. So I restarted the game and... Yeah. 
that was an issue. I somehow slipped through the crack the first time and couldn't get out, so I lost that beautiful sword. When I think about it, every game should have, like, an unstuck command. Especially in indie games. Especially when you're not fully sure if your game is going to be that way. Oh, so this is where I'm supposed to go? I lost one heart. Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, Jesus Christ. What just went on there? Oh. What's this? And stop on chest. Stop on chest. Thank you. What is this? Fiery sword. Take this to the afterlife. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's replay. I got a fire sword somehow. <laughs> That's my reward for dying. But roguelikes have like this. Hold on. What is this instructions? Ice touch it. Okay. But roguelikes always have like this kind of like progress system, but some of them work, some of them don't. Because mostly people go for like the skill progress, which is actually really nice. Some people go with the item progress with like learning different items or unlocking different items. Which I can say is actually pretty enjoyable too. This game just does it in a different way apparently. So now I started out with a fire sword. That seems really OP. Not sure if it's OP, but you know, it seems OP. So I gotta be careful. Gotta remember, roguelikes are not friendly to players. Not only that, I did waste gold on something really random, so... Kind of my fault, too. <laughs> Yeah, you can't get in it from this side. So, I also see that there's like little gray dots on a map. Those little gray dots are apparently dungeon entrance, which I just noticed. Which is actually pretty nice. Oh, I got a key, so I don't have to waste it on anything else. Let's go over here and grab this chest then. Seems the town is the same every time. Uh. And poison does sound nice. I talked to him, forgot about that. Uh, what's over here? That's nice. Gotta buy this shield. Is there a way to use this shield? Oh, okay, it's a uh, left trigger. The shield. I want that next. Um, is there any more ch chests or crates laying around? Yeah, I think that's all. So we gotta go do our dungeons now. Let's go. We're gonna go to this one. I don't know if there's like other weapons other than sword and shields, which would be nice to have different variety in your weapons. I'm not sure if I feel comfortable with it being like left trigger. I think I'm more comfortable with it being left bumper, but I don't think you can like remap it. Yeah, you can't. That sucks.
Oh god. Jesus. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, I'm not affected by poison. I forgot about that. That's what my shield does. It cancels poison damage. Which is actually pretty nice. I can say that. Hiya! into any hills which is kind of a bad thing because <laughs> you want like potions or something to spawn around now and then let's say do I block that oh god I got a little tapped in the face by him yeah that's really difficult Kind of the reason why I still like rogue roguelike games, though. Am I going to get another chest? It seems that way. What is in this one? Sp Splinter sword? Alright, we're back. This is going to be our last run. We're going to try and see how long we can survive. Yeah, this is just a normal sword, nothing special about it. I gotta say, it's really difficult. Oh. Split the sword as does poison damage. Oh. But it's really difficult to survive when the only thing you get are swords. But then again, the game is called Chop Chop. Dungeon key, huh? Oh my god, that was a good haul. Let me grab that. Can I slip through here again and try to get out? I do want another shield because the shield did help out a lot. Ah, uh, no key that time. Alright. Or maybe I should just save up my gold. But then again, I don't know if I'm gonna come back and it just be like... ...cheaper. Or everything will still be there. Let's say, I'm gonna guess and just say something's right there. Hmm. I really want this, but I'm so far off. So I gotta get something else. What is Dungeon Bug? Toxic Body. Once per dungeon room. Okay, so this one's blocked off. I gotta go back to the other side. Save some gold here. Now, uh, which one was the skill? Come on. Wow, this is like really terrible poison damage, I can just say that now. Like, really bad. Jesus Christ. I can see how the poison damage would work. It, poison damage sucks in this game. Jesus. <laughs> 
Definitely gonna need a new sword. This one has good range, but... Eh. Yeah, it's too much crap. Well, YOLO. Let's not go there, though. Let's go here. I'm probably gonna die to them. Just touching them kills me. Yep. Okay, somehow he died, though. I don't know about that one. That was weird. But yeah, guys, this is the game. It's <laughs> definitely not a game I can get behind. 50 gold? What? Hold on, I gotta see this. Yeah, I only start out with 50 gold. Oh, this game is cheap. <laughs> like, give me more gold, man. Just want to start out with more. But yeah, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Try out the game yourself. Link is down in the description, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Meanwhile, on the horror channel. Nope. Oh, that guy is here. Oh, he really what? That's what the fuck he is? Nope, I'm out.